So I think you know, one of our big ambitions, most songwriters, was to write a song for Sinatra. Yeah. So I wrote one, and then years and years later sent it to him. But I thought he might like it, but he thought I was having a gun. Why? He was like, is this guy for real? <laughs> Frank Sinatra once said, Rock and roll is the most brutal, ugly, desperate, vicious form of expression. It has been my misfortune to hear. He was quite outspoken about his dislike for rock and roll, and Sinatra famously called the Beatles vulgar nincompoops when they first became well known in the United States. He was very threatened by the Beatles being the new thing and was extremely insecure like most entertainers. Sinatra had very fixed ideas as to style and sartorial smartness, and he once called out Harlan Ellison for wearing boots he didn't like. He would simply have hated the drug culture, the long hair, the wild clothes, and every aspect of the generational indifference represented by the Beatles. It's true that Sinatra liked Something by George Harrison, but he didn't even know who wrote it. He thought it was Lennon and McCartney. Frank was persuaded to record some numbers from the rock era during the 60s, but that was simply a struggle to stay relevant. He didn't really like the new music at all. George himself wasn't too bothered by the fact his track was being covered by one of the greatest voices in history. Speaking in the Beatles anthology, he revealed, When I wrote it, in my mind I heard Ray Charles singing it, and he did do it some years later. At the time, I wasn't particularly thrilled that Frank Sinatra did something. John Lennon once said of Frank Sinatra, I guess he's okay if you like that old guy stuff. Maybe he should have stuck to being a plumber or something. Frank infamously replied, That limey punk, little creep can't see two feet in front of him, so he wears his grandmother's glasses. If I ever run into him, I'm going to slap the smartest out of him in front of his jab wife. McCartney told the Virgin Radio Superstar show, I once said Frank Sinatra a song called Suicide, but McCartney said in an interview for Virgin Radio that the late crooner thought the track was done as a joke and gave it the elbow. I thought it was quite a good one, but apparently he thought I was making the mickey out of him and he rejected it. The Beatles song, And Your Bird Can Sing, was partially a jab at Frank Sinatra, who was openly contemptuous and certainly jealous of the Beatles, and who had a habit of asking his cronies how the bird's genitals were holding up. John purportedly had Sinatra in mind when he wrote some of the lyrics, especially the line, but you can't hear me, you can't hear me. This explanation was confirmed in Jonathan Gold's illuminating Beatle book, Can't Buy Me Love, Clearly, the reason for the Beatles' subterfuge through the years regarding the meaning of this song was due to this sexual reference. It would have been tough to explain that the song used as a theme for the Beatles' cartoon show was actually all about Sinatra's bird. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was Ringo, folks. <laughs> well, what can I say? And goodbye you to know. all of them. <laughs> Well, this is Ringo. Everyone seems to have said everything here, so I'll just sign off by saying cheerio and best of luck from the Beatles. <laughs>